In the case of anxiety disorders, as a treating professional, when we see an individual who is clearly not able to function adequately or profit from psychotherapeutic measures, and when I say function adequately, that is not able to live out their ordinary roles and responsibilities, getting to work, taking care of household responsibilities, living out their commitments in relationships or to children, then we really want to consider the use of medication. Psychotherapies are very effective, however, if you are in such distress that you know learning new material becomes impossible, then really medications are required. An analogy I like to use is it's possible to learn ca complicated math equations when the room is 120 degrees Fahrenheit, but if we can turn the room down to just 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it's much easier to learn a new skill. Psychotherapy really involves learning new skills. Most individuals can profit from psychotherapeutic involvements, but when the distress is so high or the anxiety is so overwhelming that it's getting in the way of new learning, then medications are really warranted and can be very effective. One other way in which anxiety interferes is with extreme avoidance behavior. So when an individual is avoiding uh, situations that would ordinarily be preferable to get into, for instance, driving, uh, traveling, going long distances, if your job involves flying. When the anxiety is interfering at that level, medications can also be warranted. Common medications that are used in the case of anxiety disorders fall into a couple of categories. Probably the most common is something called a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. These are very effective, well-known medications uh, designed to increase the availability of a mood regulating uh, neurochemical or uh, chemical in one's brain. Uh, while they're typically antidepressants, they have tremendous impact on anxiety disorders as well. They can actually create a very protective effect so that one does not feel the full impact of their, uh, an individual's symptoms, such as panic attacks, uh, chronic worry, or tremendous obsessions, or the distress that goes along with them. Another common class of drugs that is used in the case of anxiety disorders is known as benzodiazepines. Now these are very quick acting drugs that can put a stop to anxiety in a very quick period of time and are sometimes used on kind of regular basis, maybe taken twice a day, uh, perhaps once in the morning, once at night to help with anxiety management. But these are very quick acting drugs. They get into your system quicker than those other antidepressants would, and they don't stay around as long. So while they provide pretty quick and immediate relief, they, they run their course very quickly too. So if people can uh, start to develop an appetite or want to use this more and more, that can be problematic. So we really find that people do well when they're taking these uh, medications on a daily basis, once or twice a day, rather than an as-needed basis. When people start to take them as needed, they start to anticipate the need a little too much. And these are medications that generally we don't want to keep people on more than a few months uh, if possible. Sometimes people will require longer-term use of these medicines. You really need to be in close contact with a mental health professional, psychiatrist, uh, when you're taking these medications so that their use is monitored carefully and you don't develop a habit because getting off these medications can be very difficult. Even in the case of other antidepressant medications, you need careful uh, monitoring by your physician or psychiatrist so that both getting on and getting off these medicines is a careful process. Oftentimes there are side effects with all these medicines. Sometimes you might take two or three trials of medicines before you find one that is particularly useful for you, so it requires a great deal of patience and a great deal of care, and more than anything, a great alliance between you and your uh, physician.